It's good, guys. Welcome back to Soulmate. I'm MJ. This is Geneva. Geneva. Just the legend in these streets. Back again. Yeah, we've got more shit to chat, basically. I don't even know where to start. We've got some news, some new music that you need to be checking out and all that stuff. It has been an eventful week. Bare news today. So. In many ways. I don't know. It has actually. What's the date today? The actual date today. Date today. Filming date is 21st of January. So. It's yeah. already gone. January's kind of gone slow but kind of gone fast. You know how usually it goes like for like three months? Yeah. You feel like you're January. It's like still January. I swear I'm still January. What? I like that January so long kind of though, faster. you know. This one's gone kind of fast. No. Oh yeah, it has actually. Yeah, it's maybe it's because we're not like at work and maybe people yeah. are not. You know what it is? It's waiting for the January pay that really takes it. It takes its toll on people during January, like when you when, when you have to be so traveling to or from work, Christmas yeah. And all that stuff. But now because everyone's at home, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I hope January lasts until like September, fam. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of days to come before that anyway. The opening up of the ends, because I can't be doing this for a whole another year, bro. Really, I mean, really speaking of which, months. you've been to Gastonbury, right? Yeah. Yeah, it got cancelled again this year due to COVID. Yeah, oh, sorry. Swear down. I mean, I, I just feel like it's not a shock. Like, we all know we all know that was going to happen. Already, though. They were announced it in January. Yeah, I know. I just feel like anyone who Give us some hope that, at least, man. Yeah, yeah, they said this year. They didn't say next year. There's your hope. I just, honestly, I just feel like anyone who thought that this week, this year was going to open up and deluded. Swear down. Yeah, and I don't deluded, think so, man. apparently. Sorry. Yeah, fair because think about it, bars and stuff are not even going to open until about, like, May. It's my birthday. When does Glastonbury usually happen? June. I know June. Yeah, no. Hell's still in this all. Sorry. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> Look, God damn. That was amazing, though. It was amazing. If I recommend any festivals, Glastonbury. Did you I see swear, Contessa's um, song? Yeah, yeah. You have to come, but that's part of the experience. Did you shower? It's like, yeah. Do you know what? I got to shower, but only for the first couple of days. But this, because the water cut out, because they are done a thing for the first time with, like, less plastic and that. So you oh, have to I bring see. your own bottles and stuff. So then by the time it was so hot, they had to cut off all the taps. Everyone was queuing for water for like an oh, hour. Oh, really? It was madness. So people couldn't get showers. So the VIPs couldn't really shower properly, innit? Yeah, but, but you I could... had like a backstage pass, so I actually got showers. Mm. But I only got to use it like for two days. How long was you there for? Like five. Oh, man. You key, you key. That means like one day buff, second day not buff. One day buff. Some people live like that, though, to be honest. Yeah, what? And that's a festival. You don't even care. Everyone's in the same boat. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what? I've never been to a festival. It's constantly, constantly going. Uh, Never, ever actually been to a festival. Waking up to the base. Not even once. Nah. Not even a day festival. Nah. That's there. I know. And you know what? It's never really been my thing. Like, there's just like a lot of people there. Oh, but now, but that being said, I know I never really used to be on it, yeah. But that being said, now that it's been taken away from yeah. me, like the option has been taken away from me, you want it more? I'm, I'm <laughs> listen. As soon as I can, I'm going to a festival. I feel like there are things that, I sh- and my, if festivals never come back, yeah, I'll be so disappointed in myself that I have never been to a festival. Do you know how rubbish I am? What would I tell my children? Oh, I didn't go because Dream I didn't want girl, to touch I just people. Just watched it on Sky. Yeah, no, oh, man. I'm really going to live bad. my life. And generally, I don't like big ass concerts as well. I prefer like, prefer, like smaller gigs. Oh, like intimate things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. But I'm gonna go to more like. But you need an, you need to experience a festival, even just a mad concert as well. You have to. Yeah. It's just the energy. You yeah, hundred percent. On any kind of substance or anything, just the energy from the people alone is amazing. Yeah, I can imagine. And so you're seeing you one of your favorite artists on the stage just shelling it. It's just imagine it, all the words. Everyone around you knows yeah. all the words. Who did you see perform? Well, at, um, that's that's really, oh my days. Um. Wait, what year did you go? Twenty nineteen. No. Okay. Oh yeah, what the last one? Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. It's gonna be fifty years, twenty twenty, and then it got cancelled. Oh, what a shame! And I was gonna go to that, but I was broke, so I was like, "Thank the Lord, that's kind of good enough for anyway." You, you told everyone, "Oh no!" <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I can't make it. Covid <laughs> <laughs> lock off. I was like, "You can't make it anyway." Joke. But America's still open. No, was it? Who did I see? Okay, Lauren Hill. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I see so many people. Okay, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Did you Coffee, see Stormzy? Get Stormzy, Dave, Tom Mish, Loyal Kana, Billy Eilish. I saw a little bit of Miley Cyrus. <laughs> that was lit. Was it? Uh, that was jokes, yeah. It jokes in the That was when way. Old Town Road came out. Oh, oh okay. And then mm-hmm. she brought that guy out. Yeah. Yeah, that was sick. Uh who else I see? There's so many people. That's so Their rappers come out, obviously Freddo, mm. 
Day, yeah, I'm going to a festival. I do not care. And that's when everyone that opens up. That's I'm everyone you get to see. You just like you literally get the the planner, and you have to. It's kind of hard sometimes because you're like sometimes people that you really love aren't at the same times. So you're like, oh, who do I want to see? Who do I want to see? <laughs> but depends who you're with. How do you choose? I don't know who do, who depends who you're with. Yeah, because okay. say everyone in the group, you got to vote, innit? Okay, yeah. Are we gonna go see? I don't know, like. Stormzy or this guy, like, do you know what I'm saying? Everyone's like, oh no, do you know what? I know more of my more of my mm-hmm. man's songs. It's like, no, but Stormzy's got bangers. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you, you have an educated debate. Yeah. You sit down and okay, you so to, you present to. your argument. Mm, let's live. <laughs> mosh pits. Are they going to be a oh, mosh pit? God, I could never. <sighs> you have to experience it. Mm. Before Octavian was a waste man, yeah? <laughs> yeah, he performed... Um, Bet was his last song, innit? He brought out a guy, his friend features, and he made them biggest mosh pit. So you see how there's a festival tent. It's mm-hmm. like a massive circus tent, innit? You've definitely seen one of them. Yeah. yeah. So we're all in the crowd, and he says, everybody get out until we're on the outskirts of the edge of the tent, innit? So everyone's lined up at the end, then it drops, and everyone has to run in. Whoa, okay, that, that was amazing. Like amazing. Yeah. amazing. They're going like twice. That. Bro, my glasses flew off my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like I a movie. Was, trust me. I oh, know that's lit. Oh, now you're making me feel like I haven't lived yo. my life. Even oh, I've been to madnesses. Oh, that's why you want. Who else did I see? Oh, oh, do you see that? Do you see like people walking around in the crowd and stuff? Sometimes. Mm-hmm. I saw Mahalia actually. She was. That's what. That's why. She filled in for someone as well. She's amazing live. Like she can hold every single note you hear on her tracks as well. And IMDb, she's called. Oh wow! Okay, well, it's all coming back to me slowly but surely. I am definitely. Lauren Hill was the best, I think, one of the best. Okay. Definitely going to Glastonbury when outside opens. 100%. I'm living my life. I go to Boomtown as well. Boomtown's wavy. Yeah. Well, okay, cool. Well, England's closed, but a lot of places in America are still open. And um, Trey Songs and Fabulous um, got in a bit of well, performing it's at a schick. nightclub. Mm-hmm. I told um, I told Trey Songs off a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> he hasn't. You haven't. Heeds to my warning. It's very selfish of you lot to put the club in jeopardy. You know, if I was a Wait, business, how can they? What did, how, I just don't, I feel like, I feel like there were some how states. How were they allowed to hold, like host it? How did a club allow them to even let that many people in? How did the tickets get sold? I don't, I don't know. I feel like there were some. How many states people in made mistakes for that? Like that's just madness. There are some states in America that ha- that are not taking COVID seriously. I don't think that are still like open and still allowing people to do things and stuff. So, I guess they're performing and I don't know. I don't even know why they would put people at risk. Maybe they, I mean, they need the money, well. I guess. Like, but... I don't even have free choice. People, all the clowns that went. I know. How many people? But there, there are people that don't really care, I guess. But, anyway, good luck to them. <laughs> See, they're doing the club, that. You know? I read somewhere Trace that um, Post Malone donated um, Crocs to Healthline workers. You see, that's what hey. I'm saying. Trey songs and Fabulous, you're dead disgracing They're yourself. They're so comfy. And, uh, oh that's a legendary move. <laughs> when I'm chefing, my Crocs are my goat. Oh, my days. You can stand in those for hours. Yeah, I do like Crocs, though. They're proper shoes. You They're very ugly, though. You know, back in the day when you saw the kids in them and they had the holes in it. But you know the actual proper steel toe? They're proper, proper shoes. Don't cuss Crocs. you got to wear them. Yeah, them things there you can skank out, cut Wait, mad shape. What? What? Steel toe Crocs? It's like their proper shoulder, because for chefs, isn't it? So if you drop, like, oh, yeah, okay, eat, cool. they're proper stuff, proper stuff. It was Ilya's birthday last week. It was also Mac Miller's birthday on Tuesday, so RST Mac Tuesday. Miller, and happy mm. birthday. And it was Ilya's birthday last week as well. It was Sade's birthday as well. Ooh, Sade is the queen of UK R&B, or UK soul, if you like. Birthday, happy to you. Birthday, happy to you. Oh, yeah. Birthday, birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Like that, really? yeah. You should make that into a rhythm. <laughs> but um, do, do you know what? I, I, I read somewhere yeah that um, Elias Estate, no, Elias music is not on streaming services. Yeah, you can only get like a few of her tracks. Off, you know, I didn't track really. Track. Yeah, and I was thinking like, why is that? I actually never really thought about it. Mm, that's why was it? I don't know. I really don't people know. Own, but like, because like, so you know how it always gets a bit techy when people die. And people yeah. own certain percentages yeah. and then royalties. Whether they go to the family and if they even want to make money from it, then they might just want to have it to themselves. So, what songs are on streaming platforms? The, um, I'm sure eighty and nothing but number one. All of the tracks, some of the tracks from that album are on it as well. Because it's it's very mad though. But yeah, but her family, her like her relatives and stuff. Sure. Yeah, they they're fighting to try and get her music. 
back on platforms. Yeah, and man, stuff. that's not fair. Do you know it's really? I, I don't know. People need to like be, be careful cute. who they leave like their music in the hands of because that's very mad. That I don't know. Okay, so much of the influencers uh, down in the pain has never appeared legally on streaming services due to legal issues with her estate. So it was just all paperwork and people mm. being selfish and probably wanted more money than they should for doing nothing. But they say, I was her manager, or I've done this. Or yeah. Done that. Love it, man. She's dead. Yeah. Like, rest in peace. Her art will live forever. You're just holding her art. Holding her heart, Brands. Only free. her. Only her 1994 debut, AJ Nothing But A Number, yeah. and a handful of singers. Singles, like, you know that song that she's got with Chris Brown? They don't know what you say they Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, literally. Well, literally, because I was literally on her Spotify page the other day. Yeah, that, I, I went on her pop. Music. Yeah, I went but on her Spotify page. There was a lot. There's so much more than she actually has. That's just not on there. Hmm. I wonder what it is, you know. I'm going to... Maybe I should have done more research before I came in here, but, <laughs> you know, it's for the conversation. But, um, yeah, no. <laughs> That's mad, you know. I wonder who who legally owns Aaliyah's music. Hopefully it's her family now. They're probably trying to fight for the, like, for ownership. Mm. That's very crazy. Anyway, Trump. So America's been a bit of a mess. <laughs> He's gonna drop my name. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, because it was basically he's Trump. gone. Dust. Yeah, I know. But in the, before in the wind. You, I think later, about Mike. how to do this. Yeah, and I, I think to do it in a timeline. So talk about Trump while he was there, then the inauguration, and then so Trump before he left, he's gone now. Yeah. See you yeah. later, Mike. Thank God. But um, he pardoned Kodak Black and Owen. A lot of people are angry though. A lot of people are cussing Owen because they thought you know how before the election, yeah, <laughs> Little Wayne wanted to go and beg it with Trump. <laughs> oh, that's jokes. Uh, yeah, but he's smart. Cloud, he? Yeah, he's smart. He was like, what? I got some gun charges, man. I need to get this, this shit dropped. So you go and parlay with the president. Don't you think that's a boss man move? From... I actually have no clue how mm. American even still functioning. How come they get pardoned, though? How come he just gets How can some... you just do that? Yeah. Just because you're president, you can just say, oh, do you know what? Yeah, let he... him out, man. Let him out. There's a couple of other people that he pardoned. He pardoned, like, the CEO of Death Row Records. Um, he pardoned the CEO of... Um, no, one of the founders of Death Row Records. And then he also pardoned um, Jay-Z's... Um, what do they call it? The Rockefeller CEO. What's her name? Desiree. Why is everyone in prison? I don't even think she was in prison. I think she had convictions. And then he pardoned, like, he cleared her record or whatever. Wow. Why are you doing all, all the music industry? No, it's no, it's not. He pardoned 143 people. But obviously, I'm only talking, telling you people that we <laughs> care like, about. You know what? Before I go, let me free back. No, yeah. like, no, you know there was some guy, Steve, Steve Bannon, that was part of his team that, you know, got in trouble. He got charged <laughs> for, like, stealing... You know Trump wanted to build a wall? Yeah. And then someone in his team stole money from the wall fund. What? Yeah, he pardoned him. Mm. He needs to get nicked as well. Just see it later. Yeah, I'm, I'm just being very interested Herman to see what happens in the next He's couple of days. Of that. Not even recycling. You don't even want them back in the circus. You think like, you actually think things are going to get better in that yeah. country? I think it's just the start of some shit. <laughs> America's was tapped already. Anyway. Oh god, it's, it's just tapped. a terrible place. No, actually, needs, you know what? To, like, I'm overdoing it. It's not a terrible place. It. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I'm going to cut that bit out because then Americans will come for me. Like, what's you talking about? You don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> From what we see, America's wild, wild. Oh, it's such wild. a deep place. <laughs> wild. Like I used to, you know what? Yeah, I really, I really wanted to go to America. Like you remember back in the day, like you wanted to be from America and stuff like that. And then the minute Trump got into prison, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, no, I actually said as soon yeah, as I was I'm like, go. maybe for four years, yeah. I'll just hold off. And Any now opportunities, I'll just be like. Mm. Shout me in like yeah. 2021, you know. Places that I'm not too excited to go America and Australia. Australia? Yeah, no. Why? I don't, I don't know. Australia. It's just spiders. Like, spiders, insects. Everything. Mm. Yeah, they just. Yeah. You know what? The history of those countries is just a bit nuts, and I just. I don't think. I, they the history of this country is a bit nuts. I know, but I was born here by force, innit? What am I doing? <laughs> 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 it's true, yeah. My choice would probably be somewhere hot. But yeah, he definitely definitely pardoned like Kodak Black and Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne dropped a song as well called Ain't Got Time. <laughs> <laughs> In honour of, you know, not going to prison. <laughs> do, you want, uh, do you think um, Trump actually listened to Lil Wayne? No. Like, he bangs him? No way. He might be. No, I don't think he would. 
Maybe, you know, that song might even gas you. You got a couple bangers, yeah. yeah. I can see I can see Trump getting gassed up to that song. <laughs> a milli, a milli, a milli. Going into a meeting like, Bedford, play that song. I don't know why he's English and posh. Fuck. Anyway. <laughs> play that song, please, chap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, did you watch the inauguration? No, no. Okay, so Biden got inaugurated. So he's it. now officially the president of the United States of America. Justin Timberlake um, performed. Love a bit of Tim's. Yeah, Timberlake. Timberlake. He's sexy. Um, Alicia Keys. No, wait. Oh my God, what am I saying? Justin Timberlake performed. Um, Jennifer Lopez performed. There's a couple of other performances, but they're not on my list. Lady Gaga performed. The actual, Did she? Oh, so Wasn't that Jennifer Lopez? No, it was Lady Gaga and some mad dress. I saw that for a fact on Instagram. Mid- oh. Did you watch it? No, I just saw that on Instagram. I just said that. Oh my gosh. Mm. What? No, as in, did you watch the inauguration on Instagram? Yeah. Just that one clip? I got that. Okay. I'm from there. <laughs> that was like the accent. What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. She got some mad dress on. Oh, toast, to- Tom, Tom Hanks hosted it. I swear down. I love mm. a bit of Tom Hanks. What's Castaway the other day for the first time? Don't shoot me. But it was so good, you know? Yeah, it was. It <laughs> was. <laughs> Yeah, it made me so sad. Oh gosh, oh, that man no, brings out too many song. emotions. In I me. love his. No, he's a wicked actor, man. Yeah. Have you seen Forrest Gump? Of course, I've seen Forrest. Yeah, Gump. I cried. I can't watch it. It's one of my favorite films. Yeah. Said, Have you seen Forrest Gump? Some people haven't seen it, you know. That's their business. Watch mm. it, fam. I want to watch Jennifer Lopez's performance, though. Did you see her Super Bowl performance? It had everybody yeah. like. Well, it's like that's it's not so appropriate. Messy. Yeah, it's not appropriate. You can't do that. Why did you buy a vodka, fam? Oh my days, my heart. Mm. My soul. God damn, how did them Russians do that shit? Do you know vodka's made out of potato? You can make mm. it out of anything. I love potato. Make it out of milk. I don't vodka. Is it? Have you ever tried to brew your own alcohol? No. <laughs> I mean, ain't been prison, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I had to buy that for most of my life everywhere else, cuz he. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. Jokes. Prison wire, you ever had prison wire? <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, jokes. Okay, right, cool. Alright, Kyle, okay, we're back, back in the game, back in the game. Alright, cool. So, Sean Paul has. Shut up, Art. Oh, so yeah. I'm sorry, Sean Paul was the guy. Do you know what? I still remember one of the first albums I ever owned. Big up my cousin Grace, yeah. Cause she bought me yeah. she bought me Shaggy and Justin Timberlake's album for Christmas, yeah. She doesn't know how that, that it changed my life. Oh, That's when I was there, yeah. yeah. I was like, what? Back Shag- to back album. Did I just the whole say Shaggy thing. instead of Sean Paul? Yes, again. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> she bought me Sean Paul's album. Yeah. I didn't even it was that. lit, yeah. Yeah, no, it changed my life. Sorry. But, yeah, so Sean Paul obviously had a hit with Beyonce, Baby Boy. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And we've all, like, suspected for a long time the reason why they never fulfill my fantasy. Boy, 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 boy. There's a reason why they never perform it. Like, we all speculated that Jay-Z hated Sean Paul performing the song with Beyonce. Who's all? Who's we? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's before your time, is it? What? No, it's just like, I don't, I don't think about that. We. She has performed it, like, when she does, did perform on, like, uh, concerts, big concerts. She had, like, another guy come out, innit? So you're telling me you never heard the rumours, yeah, about, like. No. Even in the video, even in the video, you don't really see them two doing the scene together because Jay Z shut it down. Yeah, you might have on the wall, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, like, don't touch yeah, her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you call him big boy. Like, no, Jay, that's, that's the one. song. This is that insecure? Don't lie. <laughs> Come on, Jay Z, you're a big boy. No, this is what this is what Sean Paul said, and I'm not mocking. He, they, the, the article literally writes it like this. Yeah, he said, "Yeah, see where you say, you see why? Do you want to do it? Am I okay? You, you see, see where, where you, you say, where you never feel comfortable. We never feel comfortable. Neither, but me just neither like never." 
but me just use me my I diplomacy. Oh, <laughs> <All> the while <laughs> I'm going wild no, and it's it. possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still <laughs> where me have <laughs> in our life. <laughs> 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 That's what I was winning. I said, I'm not mocking. I'm ready. And I was like, what? <laughs> That was brilliant. Let me see what this is. You see what you say? You never feel comfortable. We never feel comfortable neither. But we um. just use me with diplomacy and all why I gone round little obstacle when we have in the life. Oh, uh, it sounds fantastic when you say it. I cannot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's so bad, like well, this he is basically said in, in English was he felt kind of uncomfortable in the situation but he kind of like averted it. Yeah, just you do what you need to do. Done to his little thing, done his yeah. promo for the team. Yeah, yeah. Did what he did, made his money from the track, banged it when he needed to bang it, but he just stayed out of Jay Z's way because he's obviously a little cry baby. Raw wow, boy. Okay, there's another one here, go on. <laughs> yes, to me that was something that apparent at the time. Alright, so cool. His jealousy was something that was apparent at the time. I'm doing translation. <laughs> he said, We know that artistry is artistry, so And now, every time them ting they go on. <laughs> so not every time them ting are gone. We know artistry is artistry, so not every time them ting is going. Mm. Oh wow! Bambi had a similar experience following his collaboration with Slim Thug. Check on it. That is one song that I know back to back. No yeah, problem. Is he really? Is Jay Z really moving like that, bro? Do you know what? I'm not being funny. Beyonce, uh, she was. Be- yeah, Beyonce was the girl back then. And if you want to protect Damn. it, because Beyonce, think about it, she's hot property. You want to make yeah, sure but that she's nobody. She's also can... an artist. You're, you're stamping on her work. She's doing things with artists who are also as big, and she's an in industry where she needs to be successful and work with people who are doing the same kind of thing. Speaking of um, Jay Z, though, um, Nas reflected on his beef with Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, it's one of beef the hip hop. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's he saying? Do you know what? I recently listened to Ether again. Yeah, you know, after it's it, what months it's been years. You know, you hear something and then you haven't heard it from years and then you go back then you and go revisit back, it. Yeah, yeah, Have yeah. you listened to it recently? Not really. He really <laughs> suns Jay-Z now, you know. He suns him the most. I like, him. Yeah, I'm like, shit. So, um, that was a very... I mean, I was, I think I was too young and not really in to take it, it in, yeah, to yeah, see yeah, it. But getting know. older, I definitely... No, and looking I'm going to deep it again as well then. It's, 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 it's good, it's good. Yeah, it said, I think um, he, he looks back in it like fondly though. You know, he yeah, said must, that's one of those like champion versus champion kind of things. Yeah. They both put in the work, mm-hmm. they both got the wins to show for exactly. it. Exactly. And now they're both living yeah. living legends. So I, it's like, yeah, I can laugh that me and him had some beef, but right now we're business men. Right. And they're you both doing saying? their things like, in the business world like, as well. What now? Yeah, we had some beef but here. Now we sit down and mm-hmm. eat laughs. Don't care we Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? We made it. And the thing is, I actually think that beef propelled them to their status as well. I feel like that beef challenged them to the point where it's like, no, I gotta be the best. No, what? Who, me? No, what? So that they, they told, it, like, so that beef really put them on to levels because everyone knew, yeah, like, true. okay. And then the thing is, once you, once you beef with someone who other people consider the GOAT, yeah, and, like, you win or whatever, whatever, even if you lose, depending on the way you lose, yeah, other, you gain respect yeah, from other yeah, people, do you know what I'm saying? Due, 100%. Mm-hmm. If you can go against the Titan, yeah. Exactly. You go on us. Exactly. Balls, you know? Exactly. And do it. No, but yeah. Like, right. I've got to rate your thing, you know. You might have got punched up, but you started swinging first. And I've got to rate that still. And I think it's the, it's the, it's the sport of it. Like, if you're a rapper, it, that, like, you know, you go to like clashes. You know, you go to battles, you do this, you do it. It's the, it's the sport of it. It's nice. I feel like if... You know, like, how you got served, yeah? Yeah, then yeah, people, yeah. Well, you, you, you bring your team, I bring my team. We're going to dance this out. This. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what rappers should be like. If you've got beef with someone, you should just put it in bars. And I feel, mm-hmm. You know? I'm going to what you're saying. Uh, I heard you got bars, but what you know about me? I told you you were looking very silly. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> you're going to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> gets lit which brings me on to my next subject Stormzy where oh. are you where art thou why art thou Stormzy is your crown huh? heavy is it too heavy because <laughs> 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 bro <laughs> like, like what is he talking where is he 
Do you know what? I rate Stormzy. Like, don't, I don't well, want to come here like I'm disrespecting Stormzy. I rate Stormzy and stuff, yeah? And well, that being yeah. said, if he doesn't reply to Chip anytime soon, yeah? I don't know how much credibility you can hold on to. Bro, like, you signed up for the, the culture. Especially yeah. Especially the Grimes. It must be King of Grimes, yeah? One big part of that culture is there, yeah? Right. Is a clash. Mm-hmm. You told us and showed us that you can do it with Wiley when you spun his boat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what? What's different with Chippity? Do, do, huh? do you know what? Okay. Mr. We understand that Chip is levels, and no one's expecting you to like win. That is no. It's not about winning and losing here. It's just it's the sport of it. You're you're a very smart guy. I was waiting so patiently for his at least one. Cause yeah. Don't, obviously, men come out with two. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, okay, is he gonna say anything? Is he gonna say? Anything? He came out with two originally, like, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then it's like, okay, cool. He nothing. released, he's not he released say nothing, this but song. he's releasing his music. Yeah. So he's just kind of ignoring it. So it's not as if he's not doing nothing at all. He's still working and doing anything. Which I didn't. Thinking, okay, in, mm-hmm. that, in, in that in itself is kind of like a, okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not even interested. In, I'm not giving you no energy towards this. I'm working. I'm releasing my thing, whatever. Oh. Do what you've got to do, Chip. Yeah, okay, which is cool. irritating in at itself. At first it was pissed. Yeah, that pissed yeah. off when I was like, do you know what? Maybe that's a little storm to me. Maybe yeah, it's maybe starting. Leave. Yeah, okay. Then you come up with skin. Skin, man. I said, there's a little couple bars there. Yeah, yeah, okay. I cool. mean, he didn't come out with it. Gets came out with Gets, it and yeah. Stormzy's on it. Yeah, but even so, you come up with that's bar. You come up with your mouth saying mm-hmm. bars. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got another thing coming up. But it's a skank man thing, so you're shooting at my man mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Who are you shooting at, brother? Like, my baby gets is not involved, but you oh, know, no, I'm okay, right by now, the way. It? Like, if you don't know what we're talking about, not saying shoot. Yeah, anybody. yeah, not a skin, yeah, like yeah. A skin, like, yeah, like really lyrically shoot. Things, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. With the words. Yeah. So <laughs> why can my man not come out and just be like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yo chip this this that this digga that digga 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 yeah digga, back, 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 yeah digga, back, back, digga, I ain't got time back, to fuck with you like, I'm on this this like you can't do it Stormzy if you, if you, you don't believe in now, you and then come when he comes out with the ten commandments yeah I just said do you know what you're done now you're done yeah you're actually done now. I was, so, I, thought, I was like, oh, come on, bro. you got this. Like, please, I'll give. I was just waiting. When it's been two days now, three days, yeah. bro, I'm like, okay, now you're done. You had time to come out with something. Do you know what? I'll come out 24 hours after you said that. He's got until, like, he needs to drop, before Stormzy releases any new music. And do you know what? Even if it's in a month from now, yeah, because it might die down. No, come out Brexit. Pushing back the deadline. Yeah, but if it, all I'm saying is, he can't release another song without releasing a disc, because I think people that's are, what I'm saying. that's all we're going to care about. If, if he releases yeah, a song, on, even if it's a, if it's a flipping banger, people are gonna be like, okay, but but, but that Sting Manda is a banger as well. But yeah. still, I can't even uh, because of what come out straight after that. I'm talking to you, fam. But speaking of um, Ten Commandments, what did you think? Madness, straight mm. flames from the beginning to the end. He actually smacked him <laughs> up on that. I can't lie, Chip can't run out of bars. <laughs> that was cold, bro. Cold and hot at yeah. the same time. But I don't think. I, do you know That's what? A ki- he said, what, he's the king of Grand or whatever he says is the king of Swansea. Man, coming for his crown, mm. fam. He said, I don't even have to call well. myself a king, but. If if we're gonna do it as an action speak louder than words thing, I'm showing you what I want. Yeah. As even like we we're saying before, if this was a Wakanda situation, the man's coming at him to dethrone him from the kingdom, yeah. And you're not saying nothing. Yeah. As the king, you can't not say yeah, nothing. Yeah, honestly, you yeah. gotta show my man that you're willing to take off heads. Do you, to you, do you deserve the crown? Man. In the first place, yeah. have you there for what, bro? Yeah. You sit in your chair, let your head lean off. Yeah. Get up and show us why you're there in the first place. Apparently, yeah. can't be self appointed. Yeah, you can't. Like, that's what he did, didn't it? He? he came in yeah. and said, I'm the king now. And okay. then when someone said, oh, let me show you yeah. what king does, yeah. he said, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm on social media. Say, Come I'm, on. When I'm, I got to go to the mountains, pray. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Chip really came for his head, you know. He came for his head. And right now, yeah. I love Stormzy, and I love what he does for the community and what he does. You know, he's great. But in this one instance, you're letting us down, and we need to see more. We need to see more from you. Okay, cool. You don't have to come back on social media. That's not what we're asking for. But as an artist, you like overstep. That. Yes. Yeah. A little reply, brother. We've been in a lockdown, you know. We, we want some entertainment. Hey, man, you know what I'm <laughs> We spun off Wiley's thing. That was amazing to see. We're still disappointed to this day. It's expected, though. But that? Now I'm, now I'm starting to feel a little disappointed in your thing, man. Mm. And I don't even want to say that because going back to Glastonbury, you was amazing, like, yeah. bro. That was goose pimples, goose pimples, goose pimples. Pimple moments, bro. It was and then, you know, I would say something. You're I've, actually 
a real feel, G at this. I feel like Stormzy's thinking with his business head. His him and his team are thinking with their business head in the fact they're saying, "Oh no, don't do, don't give him free promo, don't give him free promo." I just feel like Stormzy and Chip, yeah, are artists that don't really need promo. I mean, actually, maybe Chip does. But not to the extent not where like beef thing. That's what I'm saying. Not to the extent. associated with kind of any kind of beef. He's just soaring like man's been right. Right, exactly. He's so maybe Stormzy's team's like. thinking, okay, we don't want to give them free marketing. Yeah, or but free... he's got it anyway because you're not replying. But we're even more looking forward to what it's true. he's got to say. Doesn't even you can flip it, but the way social media goes is you're gonna get re- attention regardless, isn't it? And they say there's no sort of thing as bad. But you see, and even if you do give him free and, marketing, and oh, he releases snakes you know, and ladders. I'm gonna help plug your thing as well. Snakes and ladders coming out. Like, was it the January twenty ninth or something? Yeah. Go on, yeah. buy his thing. Yeah, buy your thing. Put it in the work. I but say that. This is what I'm saying. Go on, Chip. Do it because you're all brothers at the end of the day. So if you're worried about giving him promo, give him promo, and then he'll give you promo. That's how it works. I thought it was good. <laughs> I don't know. Beef in the I personally think confused. I think everything that happens in the social media realm is is orchestrated and it's fake. Anyway, yeah, something. Yeah, so I potentially it could all be a setup anyway, just to get us talking. But I love it; it's entertaining. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, cool. Because then the music we'll we're do right that. now. <laughs> do you know who Bow Wow is? Do I know who Bow? Yes, I know who Bow Wow. Do you listen to his music? Not, when did the last time we released something? Since what Sierra? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, speaking of Sierra, <laughs> but this is the thing about Bow Wow though. He's had he's had like a run of baddies though. He has he's had like some girls that don't even make sense, i.e. Sierra. He was going out with Sierra. You didn't know that? For long. I don't know how long. I don't know like the timeline of their relationship, but they were definitely an item when especially when they made that song. Mm. He's had Eric Mena. He's had uh, from Love and Hip Hop. Black I China? Know that. I know who that is, mm. yeah. But uh, what the hell was she doing with... Anyway, I guess... <laughs> this is a boring ass man, but anyway, yeah. I swear about how just been on some madnesses online anyway. He's just on, some, on Twitter. Every time I see his name, like, recently, he's just been chatting bags online about something. Chatting. And now he's making... A, apparently, he's making an album about... And each song is dedicated to the women he's dated. <laughs> and such a cornball thing. Listen, guys who kiss and tell, yeah... Kiss and tell type top top music. This guy. He's, he's, he's trying to stay, he's he's to stay relevant, man. It's just sad to see because you remember back in the day, everyone loved him off him. Bow and he Little was so Romeo. cute, yeah. Oh yeah. my god, bro. But he, then, was, he was like, guy. he looked cute and then he didn't age like a. Body yeah. say the same hand. Yeah. Just kept getting bigger. <laughs> and his mouth kept getting bigger. And his mouth kept getting bigger. Do you remember that whole Bow Wow challenge? <laughs> I'm not serious. That's all I literally all I see. Just him getting mocked, yeah. Him chatting rubbish online about something. He does it to himself. But though, we'll see what the album says. <laughs> Who knows? It might be on the top. I'm albums, gonna listen to it though. Our top album list. Yeah, people would listen to that because they wouldn't hear. You know, but it's messy though. But I was just messy. Why would you do that? Don't do that. But if you do it, um, what you gonna call it? Right, cool. Keep so got some fun stuff like you know some um, some people doing some fun stuff ludicrous trades in the studio for Ooh. the kitchen he's having like he's got like a new cooking show Jeez. and i say this because i like it when like artists do other things I don't even you know. Cook. yeah so basically he's gonna bring people on his show to teach him how to cook oh, and they're having conversations cook. yeah exactly so <laughs> he can't cook I'd love to, excuse me. I'd love to do a cooking show, man. You know what I'm saying? That would be lit. Yeah, I'd love to do That'll a cooking show. Lit. So what, is he going to bring on like celebrity chefs and stuff? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. And other celebrity guests and whatever. I saw Virgil of him, like, he's getting, he's starting to get a bath. Who, Ludacris? He's got a little head. Mm. He's, he, he got a new diet thing. Is that what he's on now? I mean, Ludacris has always been somewhat attractive. Yeah, but he, now he's, he's a Don't brown, you think? Brown is here, actually. Mm. That's a type, eh? Yeah. I... How tall are you? Five, six. Seven, yeah, he's, seven. he's quite short, isn't it? Is he? Mm-hmm. Ah, you know. <laughs> ah, you know. Yeah, well, no, I need to watch it. What's it going to be on? It's going to be on Discovery Plus, and it's on, it starts on the 15th of February or something like that, or like end of February. Discovery Plus, is that mm-hmm. online? Someone, someone link me. Yeah, I'm going to find it. Yeah, listen, there's this website. I don't want to bait it up, because I don't want the government to see it. Send it to me. I'm going to send you this website that I use. Thank you. Yeah. If anyone wants the website... Slide up in our DMs at Soulmate LDN or at the Music Room. Well, just type it in and we'll get back to you. <laughs> it's gonna be over there. Yeah. It's gonna be there. It's over there. It's gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> it won't even be on the thing at all. It's in the description. So I'm just trying to reconnect to my damn internet. <laughs> God damn it. 
Oh, yeah. So Netflix gives a sneak peek of Jay-Z's produced Western, The Harder They Fall. Western? Yes, Jay-Z's Jeez. doing a Western, fam. Some kind of Eastwood shit. Oh, man. Jay-Z, do you know what? I like Jay-Z. He just, he just apart from being a controlling <laughs> boyfriend, yeah. Um, no, he's a businessman. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? He, I think he's recently invite, invested like 10 million into his cannabis business as well. He's got a, a Western coming out called The Holiday Fall on Netflix. Have you seen the trailer? I'll show you the trailer as well. No, it's lit. Yeah. That's it. She's on Netflix as well, yeah. yeah. One with yourself, Jay-Z. But he has, a, he has like a production studio, I think, as well. But he's got everything, he's doing big. Yeah. I actually rate him. These are, these are the people that like yeah. I aspire to be like. And it's going to have Idris oh, Elba. Excuse me. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Regina Hall, you know. Yeah, I love Regina. Yeah, she never too. ages as well. I swear yeah. she looks so good. It's because she does the kids' voices in Boondocks. That's why she never ages. Mm. Yeah, because she's a. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> nope. And Jennifer Majors. Okay. I cool. know who that is, but good luck, girl. The Harder Day Four follows the fictional character Nat Love Majors as he seeks revenge on the man who murdered his parents. Oh, damn. Besides. Signing on as a producer, Hove created original music for the film. Oh, sick! Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, that's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna add that to my to watch list. Um, uh, Mary J. Blige stars in a Romeo really? s a Romeo and Juliet esque thriller called oh, The Wild Oh my! Heart. I love that she's doing acting. Uh, me now, too. That's Do you sick. know Mary J. J. Blige is the face that I didn't know that I wanted to see on my TV screen yeah. every day. She's yeah. doing this. I actually guess for you, girl. Yeah, Keep doing it. Um, yeah. Have you invested in Bitcoin? Not yet. Bitcoin, well, I haven't chats yet. Yeah. Big up Carlos. Yeah, big up this My big bro, my bro, my bro, bro. He's putting me on on the things, fam. What is he, he like knows. a investment he knows, broker? No, he's just <laughs> teaching me the ways. Yeah, he's teaching me the ways. He's showing, me, telling me what I need to be watching and little things to just research yeah. on this. Like, Shout out souls. He's putting no, me it's on the as future, well. He's showing me the way. He's telling me what to do, where to put my money. You know that. You know, honestly, guys, we say that, yeah, but. Find someone who knows about that stuff because it does seem to me that that's the way the world's going. And I can't sit here and have to explain to you yeah, what the hell it means. I'm gonna lie. I don't even know what they're talking about, but they seem Alterium, like they know what they're talking Alterium. about. <laughs> yeah. Do it though, do it. Up and down. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just so complicated. Like, I, And these are the things that I wish we were taught, like, when we were younger. Numbers, yeah. Taxes. Things that are actually gonna matter to us stocks in our and trades like, and all that you know, stuff. Like, that's mm-hmm. for your tax. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, when they were talking to me on the phone, I said, "If you could just get someone who speaks English." That's what you said. Me. Yeah, because the man's talking about if you are looking to that, you can a chinga. I don't understand the jargon, better. Yes, yeah, too do much. Do I owe this or do you owe me? Yeah. That's what they do, and sometimes that's what Literally. they do. They'll overpay you and say, "Oh, we overpaid you. Oh, now yeah. you owe us this much." Is it? I didn't do it. Is it yeah. my fault? That's your mistake. Like you can't Take go the L. Trust. Do you know what I'm saying? Just my stealing my money. Skip to the loo, baby. But cryptocurrency does seem to be the way forward, and I'm definitely trying to get more knowledgeable on that. Definitely trying to get more. You know, trying to. Trying research, to well, now yeah. that we've got time in the lockdown as well. Is that exactly looking into things that you would have like you've had little thoughts about looking into, but you never actually had a time for now. It's a perfect time. Exactly. And there's so many things on it on YouTube and people that update on things every single day. So it's not as if you've got to constantly search and, mm-hmm. and go. Do you know? What? I was looking. I was looking like there's a couple of people that have their own currency, like Aco A Coin. Has a coin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got his own cryptocurrency and stuff. Man. Yeah. And he's be- building his um dream African village in yeah, Senegal. Senegal. So Jeez. I think that's so cold. But Soldier Boy is Boy, also. That's amazing. Do you know what I'm saying? That's like, that's what amazing. we need. Imagine, like, your own Wakanda in Senegal with your own crypto a coin. Oh. Like, isn't that, doesn't that sound, what dream, sound like what dreams are made of? 100%. I've been trying to find out where to invest in a coin. I don't really, I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't want to be scammed by someone. So it's like. Anyway, but yeah, Soldier Boy um, is considering creating his own cryptocurrency. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Would you? The thing yeah. is, I feel like I'd invest in Acoin, but yeah, Soldier Boy, maybe. Acoin, Soldier Boy, I got give yeah. it five years to see you are gone. But but don't get twisted though. Soldier Boy is a, he's a serious businessman. Okay. I'm um, like, I, like, I'm obviously, it's it's a bit disrespectful Ooh, for me to just like. Me. No, he portrays a guy that you don't you want to take serious in a boardroom. But well, maybe we don't know what's happening off the camera. If he's a mm. good businessman, then that's something he is showing us, which is probably a slick business move anyway. Yeah, fair enough. I see it is. I see it is. 
Yeah. gonna be that soldier coin? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he he he, he got he, a soldier coin. He put it on Twitter like a couple of days ago. He asked like his fans like, do do do, what you what you want to do? But I think people are cautioning him against it. Like he'll get in trouble. Like there's a couple of um, cryptocurrencies I think that are going through legal proceedings so I think it's a whole new Ooh. world yeah literally mm. it's not being regulated properly it's right? not being regulated it's not being regulated give it five yeah. years and then maybe but with April I say yeah you do yeah. that you so, know what you're doing I would say that like unless you if you don't know what you're doing get someone who does and be careful who you trust with yeah, cryptocurrency don't slap your money into nothing that you're not 100% honest honestly well. there's a lot of scammers out don't there as well silly, don't be silly yeah but I'm gonna I'm gonna do more research into Acorn because I feel like that is that is something that I really do believe in. Like everything that Acorn, every time I hear Acorn and what he's on, it's just something that I believe in. So, yeah. Cool. Acorn. Would you only start? Would you ever start on OnlyFans? Mm mm. Ever. Too many older brothers. Um, DJ Khaled and um, <laughs> Fat Joe D. I hear you though. I'm, I'm not trying to you. die, man. No, I got a life to live. <laughs> You're so young and innocent. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> Sorry, I just heard that. What did he say? What DJ you, Khaled fired one. Mm-hmm. Him and Fat Joe. What? what are they going to be doing? Like, rubbing their bellies together? I'm <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 what? Is that right? <laughs> I mean, uh, no. I feel like... It, What's it gonna, know, like, is it gonna be sexual? No, nah, I don't think so. Come on, I think it's gonna. Do you know? What? I think they're gonna drop some major keys. I feel like they, if they were gonna create an um, major key alert, yeah, or they you know, know what I'm like, saying. You're gonna pay for like motivation. business lessons. Oh, oh yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe they might just be like gassing you. They be like, yo, this morning when you woke up, what did you do? What did you do? You gotta make that money, huh? Are <laughs> so you telling yourself you're tired, yeah, but you ain't like, tired? I'm like, God, damn, like, these guys are just innovating. They don't waste to make money. They're just adding no, new streams of income. Because the maddest thing is, yeah, we might think it's like a double, but people are going to invest. Do you know I want to see what it's going to be about. I'm not okay, going to let's see, let's see. I'm not buying the OnlyFam thing. Um, well. They have become the latest hip-hop artists to join the OnlyFam wave. Mm-hmm. On, Who on Jenny the Donato... The two launched a joint page on a platform which has been joined by a bunch of rappers in the hip hop community over the last year. Underneath the banner of their page, they allow the mission for the page. Welcome to the light. The page for fans to get exclusive motivational is did I say that? Motivational and inspirational content. Where we'll be guiding fans to the light. That's lit. While we share uplifting insights and behind the scenes of the personal lives. Jeez. They're gonna tell some motivational spirit stories about how this person was broke back then and they worked 15, 20 hours, 15, 20 hours guy. a day and they got the... I used to know that guy. Yeah. I used to be that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't want you to win. Yeah, yeah. They don't want us to win. God, no one of us can sell <laughs> drugs and raise like 100 bags in two yes. weeks. You know what I'm saying? Like... No, but you know what? Get your coin in. We're that, saying I'm gonna charge you to tell you how to make the bank. I'm not gonna lie so though. Making it so. If I was gonna, if I was gonna subscribe to OnlyFans, yeah, that is a channel I would 100 percent subscribe to. Madness. Yeah. OnlyFans is probably. Do you know what's money is that? Yeah. Do you know what's money run through that site. Six yeah, six. a lot of money. But you know what? A lot of people apparently. Depends on peak it gets out here. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people apparently don't make that much money on OnlyFans. Like unless you're someone like DJ Khaled. Yeah, that is a brilliant move for them because I think a lot of people, especially now, like where a lot of people are in lockdown, they're trying to get their entrepreneurial spirit out and mm, whatever. Mm, mm, mm. So waking up in the morning or whenever and then hearing that content from DJ, I can imagine. I mean, we, it's something that was mocking before, you but know, generally, someone who is in this kind of circles, you want to. Be in if they obviously if exactly kind of, if you find them kind of people inspirational. No, but not even be not even because of what they do, just because of who they are and the way yeah, they speak. Yeah, yeah, literally, it's that, that you could energy be and trying to become you want around you. Exactly, you the, could be trying to become man, like, the Surgeon General of London or whatever. Yeah, you can still listen to that podcast because they have a certain energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah hundred, hundred. So if you want to be surrounded by the kind of people that inspire you or just yeah. make you feel like you know what, I'm gonna give it a try, yeah. like. I'm just going to go for it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. DJ Kelly said, you know, don't quit. Don't quit. quit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that is that is something. But it's going to cost, what, $20 a month? But yeah, but a lot of people, <laughs> like, unless you're a big-time superstar, you're not really making that much money off of OnlyFans, to be honest with you. If I went on OnlyFans now, I probably won't eat up the way yeah, it depends somebody though, else. Because I've, I've heard of a few people that my friends know personally who are making a few thousand a month. Like, what, like... 
<laughs> but that's them doing like sexual stuff and that. Like all the way no. Probably. I, I don't know because I never subscribed. I'm a Jihad of God. Lord mm-hmm. no. But some people do partake. No, I get just money. Well, and why though? Because there's other really? websites that you can use for free. But okay, do what you want to. Whatever. I'm not judging like anyone. But definitely, I feel like a lot of people will join OnlyFans and you'll subscribe for the for what you think you're gonna get, but you'll get it and it's not what you think. Hopefully, like Fat Joe, they're delivering emotional content. This is the new music <laughs> section where we drop things that you need to be adding to your playlist or That's people cool. that you need to be adding to your playlist that you've never heard before. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, so you know we're gonna drop some jams on you. People be dropping some fire, some flames, and some things that are just not that flamey, but you know that like, they're doing their thing. You know? That's a quite good intro. Thanks. Now I'm gonna do it the real way. Alright, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, cool. So should you say we got some new music? Wale on Good yeah, Vibes. I love a bit of Wale. Yeah, I love a bit of Wale. Poet. He you, is proper. But, mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, there's been speculation about Wale doing um, verses. Who? Big Sean. You can see it, right? Yeah. It makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I'm not, I'm not mad. Yeah. And I feel like Wale is one of these artists that are incredibly underrated and should be rated a lot more. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I'm not saying that because he's Nigerian. I'm saying that because he's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, he's got a new song <laughs> called Good oh, Vibes. Yeah. And he talks about, like, Donald Trump. He pays homage to, like, Pop Smoke and other um, current affairs matters. Jay Holiday, for all you old schoolers, dropped a new single called Sheesh. Ride. And it's coming off his upcoming album, Time. Time. Coming out, coming back to the to the scene, Jay Holiday. I'm gonna put you to bed, bed, bed. God. Bed. That's a bad yeah. oh So my we're saying God. that he sounds like Sir now. But maybe Sir sounds like Jay Holiday because he was the originator of that kind of like... No, he wasn't. What do you know? What do you mean? What do Name I me know? three Jay Holiday songs. Exactly. No one knows them. I know them. Bed. Mm-hmm. That's it. Moving on. <laughs> Who wants gas <got> music? <laughs> uh, Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> what he drop? So Goliath okay. drops his new single called Comeback. He talks about, you know, um, coming back. <laughs> the way he wants her to come back. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good song. <laughs> Sinead Harnett drops um, the visuals for... Remember last week I told you she dropped the song? Um, you are all the Aaliyah cover. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, at your best, you are love. Um, she dropped the visuals as well. Oh, wicked! Yeah, wicked. love yeah, a bit of Sinead Harnett. Yeah, go check it out. She looks oh, well, stunning. Stunning. Um, Co- um, yeah, Koji Radical jumped on Shay's Universe latest song Royalty. Okay, I love Koji Radical. He's wavy. Oh, I can't fault any of the things Lord. I've seen him jump on. He's cold. Yeah, he just, he's just you know, Shay's universe is she's like well, she's still. so cold. But them two together, it makes so much yeah. sense. I saw her sick video actually. Big up, big up, Nasap who styled her in it. The levels video where she like dresses yeah. up as female icons and like yeah, yeah. people in the music scene. Do you know what and I like? It's just a sick video. I'm sorry, do you, do you know? Sorry, so take me sit sorry, 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 sorry. Do you know what I like about Shay's universe? Yeah. Is the fact that she's now jumping on this drill thing that Levels is a bit judish. Um, Royalty, it's a latest song, sorry. I don't know if I said that. Mm. But the song Royalty with Koji, it's like, it's on a, like a drill beat. Yeah, she's singing the drill thing. No, yeah. that's cool still. That's I think it's cool. so lit. I think Definitely that, check it out. I think that, like, like more and more, like, because I don't know what sound I will put her as, like, whether it's soul, neo-soul, or R&B. She kind of, like, infuses Merges, them all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's yeah she's just a cool artist at the moment. She yeah, but that that genre is getting very oversaturated. Well, not oversaturated, but I feel like she's now found her sound with. She's had her sound within it anyway, but mm. I feel like she's now on that. I don't know. I think she's cold anyway. But yeah, check <laughs> it out. Um, Robin Thicke again going back to the old school guys. The Lost Without You. Yeah, he released his new single, Actually, um, my Beautiful. my mum's favourite song, still. So. Lost without you. I played it in school yeah. with the drums. Is it? With a band, yeah. Oh, so can you still play drums? Yeah. Like, very I well. Played for, I haven't played for a while, but I'm stuck in it. I don't think you lose the ability. Mm. Like, riding a bike, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Always got the rhythm. Okay, I want to learn how to play drums, but yeah. Ja. Robin Thicke releases a new single called Beautiful. It's a beautiful song. Obviously, Robin Thicke can sing and stuff, but it, it's quite Marvin Gaye-esque. Apparently, you love copying Marvin Gaye. Mm. Just get your own flavor. Yeah, 
Gosh. I mean, what you gonna do, right? No, um, what you what you mean? What you gonna do? What I you know. Gonna that, do no, but I like stuff. I feel like he's always had that kind of falsetto type. How style. many Robin Fitton can you name? Um, a few. Have you heard of Justin Nozuka? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna move on? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, but still. Um, he's a Canadian singer. He Nozuka. Recently, Nozuka. He recently had a single featuring Mahalia. Ooh, um, okay. What's it called? Oh, god damn it! Oh my gosh, it's the most beautiful song in the world and I can't remember the title of it. Anyway, go check him out. Just in the description. Yeah. But anyway, I say that to say he's released a new single called Someone Night 08. And it's again it's just beautiful. Listen, this guy has been one this guy is my top in my top ten discovery of two thousand and twenty. I say that with my chest, like he's so dope. Yeah, he's so dope. Um with a chest, you heard it here first, guys. With the whole chest. He gonna do big things in the scene. <laughs> Um, DVSN. Did I say this last Jeez, week? I love DVSN. Yeah, they dropped a project called "Amusing Her Feelings," which is kind of an extension to. Mm, they they dropped a project called "A Muse in Her Feelings" last year. A muse. A muse. Yeah, yeah. And now they've dropped the deluxe version, "Amusing, Amusing. Her Feelings." Yeah, and it's got like a yeah, couple of new people in there, giving like get Miguel it. and stuff. You might have to see. I don't know if the subtitles, YouTube subtitles, are going to complement that very well. A musing her feelings. That was the original one. And then it's amusing her feelings. This is a new one, right? And then we have Gets featuring Stormzy with Skengman. But we already know how we yeah, feel about Stormzy. We've yeah. that. But the tune bangs though. Yeah. Bang us, bang us. Big up Gets. Oh. Listen, Gets is my favourite. Hands down. Oh my, he was licked into Glastonbury. Is it? He wasn't on the. F- he wasn't actually supposed to come out. I think Heady One was supposed to be coming out, but what, like on the stage? On the stage, and get cu- ended up coming out doing a couple of songs. But man, come out with the Kavos bottle, and he was lit. Like, he was doing, yeah. And you know how his flow is skiffy mm-hmm. and mad. Anyway, what time I was looking at him like, what? What did he say? Yeah, <laughs> it was jokes. madness. You had to wait for a song that you knew, yeah. knew to come on. You're like, oh yeah, nah, I know what to say. Nah, that's so lit. Just, was, get seems like a good time though. He seems yeah, like he a good was, time. Was, it was time, jokes. Yeah. Like it was. He was lit. It was lit. It was sick. Oh man, I really want to go to festivals, man. Um, Cara Mani dropped Trippin', which is um, she um, sampled or you know, Amory's. It's this one thing. Oh, me tripping. Yeah, that's dead. I wouldn't say it's dead. <laughs> See, I don't think she done it justice. Yeah, man. Sometimes leave classics as classics. Yeah. Just leave it alone, fam. Even though I'm reading, really come out of that many songs after. Yeah. She's like, you know what? I got a good thing, but it is. Yeah, I want to push my luck, and you want to come and do some. Love yeah. it, it's just one thing. Do your own thing. And man. she even tried to do the jabba jabba jabba. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> tried. Maybe I need to listen to it more times. But yeah, no, but yeah, um, but yeah, go and uh, check it name? out. Cara Mani, Awa, another UK singer songwriter. Um, she dropped her visuals to her video. She dropped her videos to her single "Live and Learn." I was dope. It's a beautiful song. Go check it out. Um, she's also. She, I was on my top ten, top forty albums of twenty twenty. It's coming out very soon. Top fifty, I thought it was. Well, I had forty six, and I was like, I could either find no, four more. Four more. I but it's, it's really four more. Do you know what? I might put it out as like forty six or forty five, and let people decide the remaining five. That's what I was genuinely thinking to do. Nah, I think you should do. Okay, all right, cool. Damn, I can't be lazy, but yeah, um, her project is on there, um, so definitely watch out for that. Um, Joel Cole Pepper with Poetic Ju- Justice, yeah, that's the other one. This. Yeah, it's, it's called, called. And it's featured, it's produced by Tom Mish. Tom Mish, mm. yeah, so, that, guy, that guy, Tom Mish, can do no flipping wrong. He was my primary school, he's a real one, is it? We had the same guitar teacher, but he just actually listened. How was his performance? Oh, oh, you didn't listen. <laughs> I was more free spirit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> be outside and play, man, have fun. I bet he was sick in yeah, music lessons. I bet he was like, yo, guys, look what I can do. Bitch, what can't you do? Bro, oh, he's amazing. Yeah. And even his sister does music. Yeah, I think it's just oh, like, yeah. in the it's family. Her name is Laura Mish. Laura Mish, yeah. yeah. They're amazing still. Big mm. up Tom's thing. He's yeah, doing this and... That song, He's Joel Kapaka, is well. what kind of music? Mm. Also, on my 
top 50 albums of 2020 Ooh, we're plugging so, it we're plugging we're it we're plugging it it's gonna come out we're gonna drop it on monday the following monday, monday. <laughs> yeah so go check it out anyway guys that's about it i think we've spoken enough shit for today don't you think don't you agree mama you indeed baby mm-hmm. we gone peace out um follow me on instagram at mj not at ruth mj nardi follow her at Geneva, Geneva Legend in the Streets. Underscore Fofo. J E N I V A underscore Fofo. Are you going to change your bio to Legend in the Streets? Yeah. I think it's just Legend right now. Is it? Mm. Actually, don't change it to Legend in the Streets because it sounds like you belong to the streets. I do belong to the streets. And what about it? Come chat to me in the streets if you got a problem. Okay. Well, I'm going to go home and Geneva's going to go back to the streets. I think I'm going to return to God. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> okay, cool. That was done. How long were we waffling for, please? Like one hour plus.